Let's learn how to model a truss in ANSYS and solve for nodal forces, displacements, and element stresses. So the truss that I want to solve in this example is something like this. A truss of multiple bars with forces applied in this direction and I have uh, boundary conditions shown here. It's fixed in x and y direction there and it's fixed in uh, y direction in this node. The cross-sections of the bars is 0.1 meters squared. I have Young's modulus of 12, 200 gigapascals for all the elements and the Poisson ratio of 0.3. And these are the lengths that are given to me for the model. I want to discretize my model in this way. I'm going to create four nodes here and attach them to create elements. And I'm going to create the other three nodes up there. So node 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and I will have 11 elements for my model. So let's go to ANSYS and start creating this model. I run ANSYS and wait for it to load and change the boundary condition first or background color first. And I want to load the help topic so I can refer to it as I pick elements and uh, if I run commands that are important to explain So the first thing I have to do in ANSYS is to pick the element type, which is basically defining the physics and the nature of the problem we're solving. We want to solve a truss, so we want to pick the right element type for a truss analysis. So in this window, I can pick link and pick link 180. And the way I know it is that if I come to the help documentation, find the element references, element library, and find link 180, I see that somewhere in the uh, description says it's good to create or model trusses. And there are behavior that I can change using key options, which I'm not going to change in this example, so I leave with the defaults. Then I have to define the cross sections for the links. So if I come here on the sections, find link, and click add, and I can give it a reference number and um, give the cross-section area, which is 0 0.01 as I explained in my PowerPoint, and click OK. Now I have to define the material properties. Come to material models, structural, linear, elastic, isotropic, 2E11, which is 200 gigapascals, and 0.3 for Poisson ratio. Just click yes or OK and come out of this window and because this is a very simple model, I can jump right into creating nodes and elements. So I come into modeling, create uh, nodes. And so what I have to do is to create four nodes here at y equals 0 and x is 0, 1, 2, 3. And then three nodes up there with y is constant 1, but x is 0.5, 1.5, and 2.5. So let me create those nodes using here this inactive CS command. So in this window, I have to give a note number. But if I don't give a note number, ANSYS will automatically use the maximum available number. So I skip that and give 0, 0, 0 first and click Apply. And then I give 1 for x and click Apply. You see the second node is created. And then I keep giving the numbers. And then the the fourth number. So I have the four nodes created for me. Now I move to Y1 and the first X I want to give is 0.5 so I click apply. The fifth node is created there and then 1.5 and then 2.5. So all the seven nodes for my model are created. Now I can come to elements auto numbered through nodes and I pick two by two the elements that I need, the nodes that I need to create my elements. So element one, element two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the eighth one, nine, ten, and eleven. So I have 11 nodes. If I come here and say plot elements, and if I come to plot controls, numbering, and activate 
node numbers and element numbers or element numbers and click OK I see that my node numbers and element numbers are shown for me in accordance with my PowerPoint now what I have to do is to fix this node in X and Y direction and fix this one in Y direction and apply the forces so I come to loads define loads apply structural displacement on nodes so I click this node first and say all the of freedom are zero and I click OK then I click on nodes again and pick node 4 and I say just Y and Z are zero and basically because I was studying that truss in 2D so there was no displacement in Z direction anyway and I want to avoid um, con conflicts with my model that I was solving so I pick UZ as well and I have to apply the forces I come here force on node and F node 5 node in the Y direction was minus 100 then on the same on node on node 7 I click OK pick FX and this one is minus 200 and that's it we are set to solve the simulation so I can come here under solution solve current load step I'm going to close that window and click OK and the solution is done now I can go to post processing or general post processing and see the results the first thing I want to do is to see the list of results reaction forces first so if I click on that and click OK it shows me that the node 1 has FX of 200 so this one was minus 200 in the X direction the opposite of that would be 200 in the X direction at node 1 and it has a 150 Newton force in the Y direction and node 4 here has a minus 50 Newton FY reaction force and if you remember this one was a 100 Newton in the negative Y direction so the summation of these would be a positive 100 which would, which would cancel out that external force then I can look at the nodal loads and click OK and it shows me only the nodal loads which is in the local corner system of the elements um, so node 7 has a 200 uh, Newton force in the positive x direction again because it's in the uh, negative of that external force applied to it then I can take a look at the nodal displacements come to nodals from list results nodal solution degrees of freedom and pick displacement vector sum click OK and this is a list of nodal displacements I know that the first node is fixed in all directions so it's zero and node 4 is fixed in Y and Z so those are zero but the displacements of all the other nodes are shown for me in this list and the summation is basically the vector sum of the displacements now I can take a look at the uh, element solutions and find the stresses so if I do that I see that the stresses for my elements are shown in this window I have 11 elements so I'm expecting to have 11 stresses and they are actually shown for me here so the negative stress means that the element is in compression and the positive means that the element is in tension so I can take a look at those numbers here and verify it with a MATLAB code if I have written next I can show the plot of nodal displacements for example let's say in the X direction this is a nodal displacement in X direction and I can also show the nodal displacement in Y direction um, so as you can see this is zero here and zero there and that basically concludes a very basic introduction to running some uh, stress or truss structure analysis using ANSYS APDL